new workshop it's an absolute mess but it's going to be transformed we're going to make we're going to be making a planar thicknesser table and a router table for the Mativo DH330 I'm not going to be doing that today I have the legs glued up and we're going to be cutting them to size Here you can see Chris straightening off the sides of the legs. What he doesn't realise, if he straightens off one side of each leg, then he'll not need to readjust the fence each time. What a numpy mistake. This is the point I noticed the riving knife was loose and all went downhill from this point. He only went and dropped the screw underneath the blade. There's a lesson to be learned here and that is always make sure your blade is centered and secured properly before turning the table saw on, otherwise you'll end up making the same mistake as Chris here.
<laughs> Just to note, the table saw is turned off at the wall. A little longer than a few minutes later. The golden rail when you're doing any project and that's to always measure twice. It's a rail our Chris here seems to forget at times. Sorry for pausing the video here, but thanks for watching so far. It would be so good if you could subscribe, like, and comment on the video, and more videos will follow. Right, let's get going.
it helps to have the dust collector hooked up to your pocket hole jig as it keeps the metal guide bushings in place while it's drilling your holes. He's finally realised to hook up the dust collection to the pocket hole jig. A pocket hole clamp would have came in handy here.
Yes, I can hear the comments already. I'm using a flush cutting saw as that's all I had to hand at the time. Well, my battery ran dead and didn't get the rest of the footage, but this is the planer and thickness bench. Finally done. I've got, I've got my Parker brand air compressor and my Parkside Hoover there. Um, this game changer. Absolute game changer. It's flat. Much better than the current one I'm using. There'll be a review on that soon. Well, that's it. Workbench finished.